Today we're going to take an ordinary metal can and make a small little stove with a standard can opener. You've got to improvise to survive. Now, of course, first thing you want to do is to empty the contents and clean out your can. Uh, there are a lot of pop tops that make this really easy. Uh, next, we're going to want to get rid of our label, and uh, this could be a real challenge, but we're going to just see how it goes. There's some glue, I think, just on this one seam. But once we add fire to it, some of that will burn off and that will be okay. Now I'd like to say that these labels make good fire starters, but they don't. They will burn some, but they go out quickly. Now this is an average size soup can. You can use larger cans if you want, but you're going to have to have more ventilation. For this one, we're going to have four places here at the bottom. And we're going to start right here, getting in that lip. And it's going to bend the can a little bit. That's okay. Once we open up this side, the side will come in from the top, lining up with that hole, and we're going to bring it all the way around. Now, one step next is we're going to bring this back out. This is going to serve as our feet. Now we have this side popping out the bottom. Uh, one good thing about this can is typically the bottoms are a little stronger, so this is going to give you a little more leverage for your feet. Now you're going to want to do that in four equally spaced places on the can. And be careful not to cut yourself because these get pretty sharp. We're going to go ahead and Bring our feet around on each one. I would probably recommend doing this as the last step to keep those sharp edges at bay. <laughs> now we have the four holes at the bottom. We're going to put eight at the top. Bring it around. Fairly evenly spaced. You may have to get inside and kind of straighten this up, but again, be really careful because this can cut you. I'm going to go quarters first and then go back in between. Be careful because the integrity of the walls are starting to become a little weak. So again, we're just going to straighten it out. It's pliable enough to where we can get that back out at least into a decent shape. Next we want to bend over our edges. This will keep us from cutting ourselves. You can actually do this with your fingers, but again, be very careful. You can do it with a pair of pliers, but we're trying to do it with just this tool. Actually, this was inspired by another video. I'll have it linked down below. Uh, I don't remember the name of it, but it was really good, very concise. And now we have our stove complete. Let's try it out. The one thing about having these small feet is it gives you a draft underneath. And of course you have your holes in the bottom. Uh, we can actually feed some wood into these little holes. And of course that's going to limit the size. This is a small little thing. We're going to use some of the Ingalls Creek Fierce Fire. This is from Ingalls Creek Outdoors. This stuff is fantastic just to get the fire started a little easier. And uh, this is great stuff for fire starting. Enter a little bit and then we're going to light it. And you can see it starts right away. I'm going to go ahead and put a few sticks in here and get things started. That fierce fire really breaks down to small pieces. Now to be honest, it would be nice to have a stand because this is not super sturdy. But we're going to try it anyway. Now we're going to take some water and put it in this little percolator actually. But it's a pitcher. Set it on our little fire. That's going to calm the fire down some as well. Then we're just going to let it go. It's a little windy today, so we're getting a little excess flame. 
but we can put sticks in here. One thing you want to be careful is not to knock your pot over when putting the sticks in. Again, a small little stand would be great. Gonna take a little instant coffee. All right, we got our water ready. We're gonna go ahead and just pour it into our coffee cup. So while I'm not a big fan of instant coffee, if I'm out of coffee, it's SHTF regardless of what's going on. Whew, that's hot. That's, that's not bad. Okay, I can survive. That's really not bad. It's not Starbucks, but I don't like Starbucks anyway. <laughs> So guys, making a stove out of a can, very simple. You know, it takes a little work to get the water boiling, but you just keep feeding it and it'll happen. And then your reward, good fresh coffee. Or something to eat or whatever, but good stuff. Look at that, that air coming up, this baby's still burning. So guys, again, taking just ordinary everyday items and turning them into a useful tool for survival or just for fun is a hack. So guys, if you're really serious about prepping and survival, check out Survival Dispatch Insider. It is one of the best resources on the web, and I upload one video a week that's exclusive to Survival Dispatch Insider that you're not going to see here on Sensible Prepper. So check it out. Be strong, be of good courage. God bless America. Long live the Republic. and make a small little stove. I gotta do that now. Whether it's just a hack or survival, or for just a hack and for fun, or just for fun is a hack. that.